running when you leave here? Yep, that's, you know, do thing then. that's exactly the idea. So when that controller does kick on, it should take over the whole operation and cool. turn the transfer pump on. Turn that on until it gets too cold yep. or the vacuum drops. Yep. I've got it set so that it should be, it should shut off at so about... Is there a float in there that knows when to tell that transfer pump to kick on? Nope. And how does it's it all, know? It's all timed. So then every hour it'll kick on a pump until it's dry? Pumps for 15 minutes. That's as much as the controller will let it do at this point. But 15 minutes is 60 gallons. That's a four gallon a minute pump. Yep, four gallons a minute. So when so it's... is that enough time to make it so you're not wasting sap and it sucks enough well, water that... 60, 60 gallons is where on this? So just above that, just underneath that white is 50. Yeah, so it's... That hole right there is so it doesn't flood out, right, just in right case. There, it's at about 75 gallons right now in there. Right. So if we pump this right down, it should, in theory, keep up. basically keep up with 60. Because it comes on every hour for 15 minutes, right? Exactly. Yep. Yep. And we got the solar panels. Tucked in over here, we had a rainstorm last night. So, hopefully, the rain will quit. There's the panels. And what we're doing now is there's a line that goes over to another tank because it's almost impossible to pump out where the tank is right now. You can see the gravity here that goes to the Versa pump. And right now we're pulling, we're going to this tank up here because it's way easier, way easier to pump simply because you don't have to be a billy goat and that's pumping up the hill I'll show you here in a second blasting the sap in you hear from the pump down the hill and it's about we figured about 200 feet roughly and about a 15 foot head Coming all off these. We had a nice freeze last night. It's 20. Right now it's about 28 degrees. So the Versa pump is actually not pumping yet. I thank Dave at Mountain Maple to for making the controller to make this all happen. So you can see we've got there's about uh, 450 taps in here total. back down the hill you can see the slope here it was a little tough to get the pump from the truck to the tote Got everything all pitched in here to right down to the right down to the verse pump. You can see we're de getting decent sap flow now. It's kind of just broke loose, but it still froze in other areas. Well, there's no sap coming out simply because it hasn't built up enough vacuum yet. Oh man, it's built up vacuum. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it's still, because it still froze. 
It's coming out. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot. But now what will happen is it'll start moving the ice chunks. It yeah, it, it'll it'll thaw it out on its own. It. Yeah, so. we'll we'll go over here to there's that that one right that one right there is running. Yeah, we'll go over here. And this slope system over here is not the same as the one up on the top of the hill. Top of the hill, um, there's only so many trees that pick up vacuum. The rest are up on a flat. This is all low slope and obviously pitched to the three quarter inch, three quarter inch pipe. You can see that's starting to run now. And we got a river running through. It's a pretty cool place. This is in Brownville, New York. This one hasn't this one hasn't broke loose yet, but there's probably 50 taps on this line and it's all flat. There's very very little slope here. It might it might go maybe I don't know 4 feet in 450 feet. So this one's starting to go. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. So we're starting to see starting to see these things happen. Which is pretty cool. We had to get rid of some squirrel chews and some human errors and all that sort of thing, but you can see this line's still gonna be froze. There's like there's still snow on it. So and you can see we've got lines up the hill. Again, there isn't much of a grade difference. There's 750 feet up to a few taps up in there, and if it goes down four or five feet in that distance, I'd be shocked. That's why we put the pump in. There's probably 200 taps on this side of the woods, and about 300 up on the top.